Hello! Welcome to the Runaway Warlords! My name is Drew, and today we are going through One Piece, Manga, Chapter 972. With me today, I have our two beautiful boys. Go ahead. How's it going, Warlords? My name is Wayne, the Dark Brick. Hey guys, it's Doug. And Doug, I'm going to make the same joke twice. Doug is our yeah. resident sexy mechanic. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Doug is our resident uh, supermodel. That yeah, I can live with that. <laughs> All right, yeah, uh, we're going to go through chapter nine seventy two today. Um, the chapter is called what is it called? Okay, it is called. My name is. Oh, you got it. No, yeah, no, I'll do it. Uh, chapter nine, <laughs> chapter nine seventy two. I am Odin, and I was born to boil. Woo. That's... I felt like we all should have yelled out that last part. Okay, wait, what do it? Just to make it more memorable. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll do it, then everyone joins in. I'm born to boil. <laughs> I am Odin, right. and I was, was born to born boil. Born to boil. <laughs> to boil. <laughs> Perfect. I. Right. Uh-oh, okay. I gotta put my phone on time. Okay. So, now, we are going to go through the chapter. So, first of all, we have oh. a cover spread of One Piece and Hungry Days, which is a um, ramen, I think, ramen company that they've been doing commercials with. Like, like they're doing, like, high school crossover stuff. So, this is a really cool cover page here. It's a uh, fun so, slice of life kind of thing that they, like, want to try doing. So, I, I just want to take a second to appreciate the foreshadowing of Odin's name. Yeah, go ahead. Well, he he's being boiled to death. <laughs> <laughs> And you boil yeah, Odin. right? <laughs> like, like the soup. They're, right? they're literally making ramen and boiling it. <laughs> I think it's like Odin or Ramen Day or Odin Day or something like that in Japan when this chapter came out too. It, it was what day? Odin Day or Ramen Day in Japan? Oh, interesting. Odin Day, Japan. I'll see. Okay. Well, you look that up. I'm just gonna go through the first page here while you're doing that. Okay, so on the first page here, um, this is while this is in the middle of the boiling. Okay, so we have our uh, ninja woman with a smaller face than we're used to, um, and she's running through the crowd. So Lord Odin's been keeping all of us safe this all this whole time. Um, yeah, they just figured out that Odin. The reason that he's been dancing is because uh, he's been saving a hundred people every time that he's danced every day. Sweet, yeah. So it's like. Basically, every week he had to come pay homage and dance in the skivvies for everyone to just be like, oh, he's an idiot, without asking actually why he's doing it. Yeah. Um, I just, I, I like her run through the, walking through this crowd and looking at this guy's big dumb head. What's his, what, what's his name again? And I'm confused because in the present day, his forehead is insane. Like, what's happened to him? Like, Fugaro Kucha, what has happened to you? Yeah. I do like his earlobe. You know who I'm talking of... about? I, I, you're talking about the guy with the big head. Yeah, like, his head is, he's lost, like, another, like, two feet off of his forehead right now. You know what, I'm th you know what that reminds me what's of? Is that one guy that, like, has the, remember in Dressrosa, he, he, like, broke the ice or whatever? <laughs> Because his, oh, his um, Don Chinchow. Yeah, that's what that reminds me. Maybe, maybe he got his head boiled in. You're weird, dude. <laughs> anyway, okay, so yeah, uh, so uh, continuing on, uh, she's just begging. She's like, like, um, you gotta get him out of here, and everyone's like, um, yeah, let's do it. And then someone gets shot with an arrow, and it's like. It's it's yeah. it's like when the, when there's a huge riot about to happen, and then there's that one person that throws the bottle at the SWAT team, and then it all becomes chaos, right? True. Well, and now that everyone is like having to deal with the whole emotions of going from this is boring, this idiot should die, to oh wait, he's been saving us, to now uh, every now all these armed men are like surrounding us, like what the hell? So it's I can see it being an emotional roller coaster for everyone. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, 
And man, I hate to keep on talking about this the the way that Oda does fire, but it's just cool like these swirls. Every you can see it, you can see it in every angle. Just a very specific way to draw it. Just cool. Okay. And uh, on what is it? Page four or five that you're looking at? Yes. With the fire. Or yes. Four or five. Like it's drawn in the the traditional Japanese like wavy fire water style. Absolutely. As when you keep breaking it down, Oda just has put so much detail in every piece of this. Oh my god, it's astounding. Look, okay, so on page five, uh, we get kind of a bigger look, um, and there's some narration going on, and it, uh, the narrator just it just uh, talking about how everyone's realizing how what 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 has been sacrificed, and you see in this middle big um, zoom out of the whole crowd looking at the uh, boiling oil. Look how many people are individually drawn there. All right. Isn't that insane? I, I, I'm always the one, I, I'm always interested in like the art, I guess, but because it, uh, it's just like so int- like he has to make like different little models. You know what I mean? Like little little scribbles for everybody. It just looks so insane. Sure. Anyway. And knowing Oda, he probably has a backstory for every single one of them. <laughs> Wikipedia is coming. What, what's the one piece Wikipedia called? Um, He's wicked, pretty sure. There you go. Okay. Um, and the, uh, the last bit of narration goes like this. The reason for Oda, for Odin's five-year stretch of odd behavior spread throughout the crowd like wildfire. It spurred the people into motion. So, so yeah, people are getting a little, little bit more... People are getting woke, as they say. <laughs> That's a fair way to put it. Yeah. They're getting the, woke. The hour, the hour of legends, man. Oh my god! Hey, by the way, Doug, you were a hundred percent correct on that. I will give you the One Piece theorist for the week trophy. <laughs> uh, I, I am putting it onto your head right now. You are our theorist of the week. Oh, thank you. Enjoy it, my friend. Enjoy it. <laughs> Not only are you a supermodel, but also a theorist of the week. <laughs> Oh. Well, I remember distinctly just Promotion. being like, "Oh, that battle was the hour of blood." I know. I was, I was and like, then he's like, "Are you, when are we gonna get it?" Now, now, no, we, yeah, Doug, Doug, why did you think that that wasn't the hour of legends? Uh, because it wasn't really something to be memorable for, you know. Uh, they they were still like looked at with you know disdain by the people, and it wasn't something that was fondly remembered Very or true. would be. So, I knew it had to be something bigger than that. Wow. I think I was just in love with with uh, Kaido getting the big axe on his, or you know, getting getting cut up. And I just uh, thought his for sure. his face was just pure. It was not only pain, but it was like just pure like surprise too. He's like, what? <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Um. And then, so I'm on page six right now. Um. And the boiling oil in the pot has surpassed 700 degrees. Um, hey, someone help me out. How, how long have they been in, in there now? I'm, I'm trying to scan this page. The, uh, Okikus is about to say a third of the way when I start up. So that's a third of an hour is 20 minutes. Uh, okay. And we're, I mean, look, look at it. Look how, look how bloody his eyes look. And like just, yeah, totally oh, yeah. awful. Wow. Um, I also do love the fact that like... Everyone's shouting like all their um, encouragement to him, and then you have Kawamatsu, who up to this point really hasn't gotten any character development like at all, and now he's like, "Oh, now they care," and I'm like, "Okay, he's the pessimistic one. He's like the the smart aleck, pessimistic one out of the group." Okay, Kawamatsu, I see you. <laughs> I yeah, and. As I keep on watching the old episodes of one of uh, One Piece, it's it just it, it's I I just it has to be that I, I know that you don't think so, but I I really think that that is the same person that taught Zoro. I don't know how. Uh, I don't know why? Yeah. Or uh, yeah. Wait, is that who you're talking about or no? Am I going crazy here? Oh, Matsu is the fishman. Oh, whoops. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. What did he? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. See, I don't even He's know. The one who was eating the. Uh, the poisoned fish for 13 years and then just puked it up over everyone. Right. He's the Kappa. My fault. I'm sorry, everyone. He is a Kappa. <laughs> we'll get these characters. There's so many. Yeah, but you know, try to do your best. Okay. So let's uh, end this thing out. Okay. So basically, uh, we get some really 
uh, interesting information. As Odin says, Long, long ago, the ones responsible for closing this nation to the rest of the world were no other than the Kazuzi Kazuki clan. Um, yeah, so they were the ones that closed off the border. But um, oh, And it kind of, it's when you start to think back on it, like it's starting to all, all the dominoes are really starting to fall into place. Like, I don't see the Kazuki, like, just always, like, keeping Wano isolated. No, the world government came into power. Now we must isolate ourselves. Right. All uh, right. Yeah, that's, that's, kinda, that's that and page. I'm interested to see if we are going to get some backstory on Zoe. And if Zoe, because it says a millennia, it says he's been walking for a millennia, almost a millennia. But... I'm interested to see if that is, that's around 800 years too, because mm-hmm. I still think that so might be Pluton. Hey, we can go off on a tangent for a second, can't we? Right. Okay. Well, no, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> okay. So. So this is all about. Yeah, I guess so. Um. So you know how um, Roger's ship. As a matter of fact, I'll pull up a picture right now. Uh, Roger's ship has an egg on it, right? I would just think about this. Is like the Or Jackson, right? Um, has an egg on the back, and it's we like never, is... we never got to see it hatch. Right, but then when we're looking at this at the backstory, and I, I'm maybe I'll have to look at this too. I don't know if the egg is still there. But let's pretend it's not there for a second. Um, what is the so? Then we know about Poseidon. We know about um, we know about uh, was it a Pluton, and then probably either what's the yes. next one is going to be Neptune or it's Jupiter? Uranus, Pluton, and Poseidon. Okay, so right now, right now, let's say that Poseidon is the um, sea monsters, the right? Yeah. And then Poseidon is said to be uh, something that. Wait, so Poseidon. But blah, blah blah blah. I'm trying to say that I've been thinking about this egg a lot, and I'm thinking about Zoe. I'm thinking that Zoe is one of the ancient weapons, and whatever this egg thing is, I think that's a bird. And I think that's the third one. And I was just thinking like, about that w- the other day. I'm also under the, the speculation that there might be like an all-encompassing double fruit that could be the third. Oh, whoa! Oh my yeah, so god! I think, he might, I think he might have that third, that double fruit. We should cover that in another video. I have once not get, heard that. Uh, one. Yeah. Once we get a, a an off week, we'll ha- we'll do that. Yeah, because that that'd be really interesting. Okay. Anyway, uh, my rant is over. I was just I, I was I'm rewatching the series and I just looked I saw that egg and it just it just uh, made me think of some stuff. So. Oh, yeah, and all that's right. what this is all about is just everyone getting a chance to discuss and get their ideas out. Wow, well, we're all here singing kumbaya. Into... Yeah. Oh, yeah. And okay. speaking of kumbaya, <laughs> technically this isn't a fire that you want to roast marshmallows over, right? But you can boil Odin. Horrible joke, and I apologize to everyone who's listening. <laughs> Um, jumping into this uh, midsection, yeah. Going into this midsection, it, it it does become apparent that Odin's no longer naive. Um, and for a lot of us were very frustrated with him in the last few chapters because he believed Orochi, and he believed Kaido, and he did all of this, and he fell for the Momo trick. But at this point, he's like, "Hey guys, like I'm gonna be straight with you. They're going to kill. Me. Like they're not gonna let me out of this." Um, and Doug, I know you had some thoughts on that. We can talk about that a little bit more once your once the epic moment ends in your se- section. But it's one of those things. It's like Odin's finally like, "Hey, I, I I'm in my final moments. Like I'm literally being boiled alive." Yes, thank you everyone for um, cheering me on, but like I'm not gonna make this out. We start to see like a lot of the scabbers starting to yell their support. Dinjiro is cut off. It seems like he's trying to yell that he's going to jump in, but then Rizo cuts him off, and it's just like your dream is our dream. And we see this amazing panel at the top left corner of page nine of just Odin, really just like well set. And thinking back on who Odin's been built up to, and even the flashback is just. It's very, I don't know. You can see the pain in his eyes. You can see the determination and tenacity. He, he's just like, dang. 
good, good stuff, my dude. Good stuff. But, um, Mark, and then it's becoming like even the narrator saying that the fumes are killing people. Orochi's having a mini freak out, and it goes from the half, the half hour mark to quick montage because, um, thankfully, Odin's not going to draw this. Odin's not going to draw this out anymore. I I got I got the the weight behind it when he it was like four minutes and it was so long the original chapter but now it's just like thankfully he speed he sped this up yeah it's like every so, chapter is like five minutes <laughs> yeah okay. so now we're getting our our, uh, our epic countdown he ten seconds and then he finally makes it and then in once we hit page ten and eleven everyone's celebrating. Clocks run out. Click. Execution has been survived. Everyone's celebrating. Oh, uh, can I get a yippee? Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder yeah, what, what my, that word is uh, in translation. Uh, I'm sure it's pretty close. But yippee are, is kind of funny. Yeah, right. Get that high, so I'm not gonna hit that yippee. Mm. But um, at the bottom of page eleven, you see a stare down between Odin and Kaido. Ooh. Now, um, I know it may not matter, but he says he cleared up the misunderstanding. The country's on his side again. You're in for it now, Kaido. Do you think that's only my boy Neko? Because on page 11, we see what started the fight that has split Zo for 20 years. Uh, could you, uh, yeah, what, what, how do you mean? So at the very end, you see Kaido and Odin staring down at each other, and you see the word bubbles like, you messed up, country's on his side, you're in for it now, Kaido. Right. At the top of page 11, you see uh, Inu going after Neko. Like, dude, you need to chill out, don't provoke him. And Neko's like, a win's a win, don't start that. In our present day, we know that something at the fun- at the funeral, at the execution, caused them to have that rift which then became the fight that split zo between the day and the night oh so ne- this, Neko, i think so dog storm is like blaming ne- or uh cat viper <laughs> i think that's a, that's their translated names uh that's their official names i understand but i will st- i will st- i like i like neko sure. like um so he's blaming the cat for for uh and you know if we're getting kaido all worked up basically i, I think so that's I do think so because we know that they got in a fight that literally tore them, tore their friendship asunder. And the only thing that could be as big as, I don't think anything could be as bigger than Odin's death. And Inu probably think Dogstorm probably thinking that Neko was the cause of it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't even catch that. That just looked like a very minor ar- argument to me. But yeah, maybe you're uh, right. Yeah, and that's but that's the that's what you love about Oda because. It could be like it can seem completely inconsequential, and just that little blurb of them yelling at each other—that's automatically like yes. Even though Neko is my favorite, I I agree with in uh, in Arashi, like Dor- Dog Storm, like dude, can you chill out? Can we get out of this first before you start talking shit? Mm-hmm. Uh, that um. um their squabbling is ended fairly quickly because Orochi has proven that he is he is the horrible person he is. Granted, he's not he's not trying to be a ruler, which I understand. He's just trying to destroy all of Wano. But um, he's just like, hey, I changed it to Death by Firing Squad. The crowd starts freaking out. And then Odin, um, and I'm thankfully, I, I'm glad that I got this this middle portion just because he's just like, do it for me. Open Wano's borders, and then just like ultimate Chad moment, <laughs> just sends them flying. And I zoomed in, and like, uh, what's what's Big Boy's name? Ashura. The look on Ashura's face is just pure. What is happening in my life right now? Yeah, a little. Yeah, I, I do like the. Yeah, I like. I just like the grimace on his face. It looks, yeah, you're right. So um, he sends them all flying, and they immediately hit the ground running. Kinemon, um, he he slides it. He jump, immediately jumps in because he knows. Don't 
look back. And this is where I'm getting goosebumps right now, actually. Like, this is where I wasn't emotional before, but this is where it really, really, really was just like, oh, crap. Here come feelings. Mm hmm. Look at um, yeah. Started, look at look at Kinemon just rip the, that that uh, chain apart. Right. So at this point, it's just um, we start to get this montage of how, when they all literally first met him. Not how, his impact on them. Not like impactful words. Just literally the first point they met him, and even like looking. What is this? The top part of page thirteen. Like I for. It's been, it hasn't even been, what, the, been late November? Okay. After, so, like, late November. It doesn't feel like it's been that long since we've seen his introduction, but it still feels like a long time. You know what I mean? Oh, sure. Yeah, this so is definitely we, uh, really, yeah, this is definitely some character development. Like, we definitely got oh, the yeah. whole breath of who Odin was. So... They all start taking off and they start shooting after him. Um, and then Kaido says something that I take his word for because he is uh, a predator at heart. He is a beast at heart and he can tell when a body is deceased. Um, I do believe that Odin's body is technically for all intents and purposes dead. Oh, it's, it's like the whole thing. Like he just being, he's just, uh, he just up because you know, it's like he's, he's still standing and he's unconscious. Like that kind of thing. Well, it, you know how some people say, like, if you get hit by a car, if you move the car, the person will automatically die because the car is what's keeping you together. Oh, whoa, oh, yeah. No, what, so no, that was in. Uh, to, yeah, anyway, that was in a movie. I forget. So if he were to get up out of the the pot, like his skin would start falling off and shit like that. Whoa. The only reason he's still being, the only reason he's still conscious and not dead is because he's still in the pot. <laughs> Dang. So, and that leads us into Kaido trying. I don't. I, and I read. I cover a lot of the reviewers and stuff. And uh, everyone has different approaches. I personally think that Kaido is like, all right, dude. Like, you've earned my respect. You do still need to die, and I will give you a quick end instead of like kicking the pot over and making you suffer on the ground. Mm -hmm. That and then Odin is just like. Do not underestimate my samurai. Okay. But, yeah, at that point, um, that leads us into Okiko's flashback, and that, and I can turn it over to Doug. All right, so we're with Okiko now. On, oh, yeah. Uh, page, page 14. Page 14. <laughs> Yeah, here she is uh, looking back as a kid with him yelling at her. That's another kid, another week of a kid crying while eating. <laughs> brought to you by, <laughs> brought to you by uh, Odin snacks. Is the whole family hungry? <laughs> is she eating Odin in that picture? I have no idea. Yeah, she yeah. is eating. Yeah, because when they met, he, oh yeah, that's our pot thing. of Odin. Nice. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. how they all ate. They all ate Odin all the time, which is weird. <laughs> Think about it. Yeah. yeah, Odin getting eaten on a daily basis. <laughs> then he gets. <laughs> Wonder if he was eaten in the end by the beast. Hey guys, pretend I am still here. I'm I'm going to run away for a second. <laughs> I'll be back. Oh, he said the title in the name. <laughs> said the name of the title. But yeah. uh... Yeah. Yeah, walk us through it because this is it's 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 just sad. Yeah, and then we got uh got him going after everybody and uh you know, you got Rizo here. It's it's all where he goes and finds them as their criminals in their past and turns them into the scabbards. Like, even Asher is just like, oh, I remember that time I first met you and you kicked my ass. Yeah. And, and um, Neko and Ino and Kaomatsu, that was the one that really got me feeling it. Because they were kids. And I think they're 20 now. At least Neko and Ino are. Like, all yeah. they've known is Odin. Yeah, they're, they're getting pretty old now. 
Yeah, the and fact then, that Kawamatsu is discriminated against, and he fucked. Odin gave him all at home. Like that's yeah, gave him even a like that little mid panel. You could see that. Yeah, give him a family, and uh, yeah, I mean, like it, it you know, it's kind of sad seeing how he lent all his money out to Orochi in that panel right there. <laughs> right it's there. It's ah, oh, God. It's just a good dude. Just yeah. Good, just a good dude, bro. So if, when you see Rizo running, sorry to go back a page on ah, page fourteen. Who's here? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, but when you see Rizo running, I love that. Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> I just like that sound. Oh yeah, his oh, eyes dude. right there. Yeah. Oh, no oh, bug. Oh dog. Oh, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the 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 art. It's just amazing. Mm-hmm. On these pages. It's good now, but this entire sequence will be much, much better with music and everything in the anime. Like I, my, mostly, I don't think I'm ready for that, but I want to see it. Sure. No. And uh, you know, and then over here on uh, page sixteen, um, you know, you get Kaido apologizing. Yeah, what uh, was your thought on that? To him about the old thing. Well, my thought is is that's not how he wanted to win the fight. But he wanted to win. So he capitalized on it. He wasn't going to pass that up. Do you think that he saw her before he hit uh, or do you think he saw Odin slash Momo or aka her before he took Odin out, or he saw her, saw Odin, took Odin out, and then got pissed. Because I honestly think he was just in the in the, the heat of the moment and everything. Didn't even yeah. realize it was her until after he hit Odin. Then he looks at Odin and looks at her as a Momo, and he's like, "What the shit?" Yeah, and I he ruined I, my fight. Yeah, because he definitely didn't uh, have her do that. Almost like he's paralleling maybe a son who fought Luffy and had that type of chivalrous behavior. Just throwing out, just throwing that out. I don't know. Like, I don't like know. Katakuri? Not me. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> well, the, the, the <laughs> thing, the, I, I don't think he's an honorable person. Because, um, like, if you think about it, he, why, uh, why wouldn't he punish uh, Orochi? For breaking his own promise. Possibly sending her there. No, no, I'm, I'm talking about with the firing squad. After mm. he had given his word about the hour. I know, oh, that's what I keep on going back fair. to, too, because a pirate's word is a pirate's word, right? Yeah. So, he, uh... You know, he didn't... He didn't let him go. Like he said, he went, they had to run away. He did, and he didn't do anything... About Orochi, so I'm wondering, you know, is Orochi actually pretty strong? Is he and, more controlling Kaido or what? Oh, I, I doubt that. But that kind of leads us into Odin's next words, which um, I don't know. I told you guys, but I posted on Tekking's channel um, a theory, and people are running wild with it now. Ooh, let's hear it. So Wait just a second. Exclusively on the Runaway Warlords, we have a theory by, by Doug Britt. Go ahead. So, um, you know how Kaido is always trying to kill himself now? Yeah. He's drinking when, uh, crying when he drinks. Mm-hmm. You want to go through? Uh, I don't want to cut you off as you're narrating. So did no, you want to read no. that middle panel? No, no. Go ahead. So basically, uh, when Kaido was like, oh, I killed her. Sorry about it. He's just like, oh, how upright of you. You should probably get stronger. For I am a, am a story that will accompany your dreams. Now Kaido, who tries to commit suicide, can't die as he drinks, remembers the one person who could have killed him. And how that fight was taken away from him. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, this is just like the saddest part. 
right here. It's, it, this is going to be one of those anime episodes that will. It's up. It's not as up there with uh, Whitebeard dying on his feet, but it's up there. I mean, it's it's up there with Ace dying. Like I'd say, I, I'd say it's fair for Ace. I'd say it's you not know. uh, the Ace dying is much more in a an apps comparison. Oh, the first divisional command, uh, second division commander, had a similar ending as the last second division commander. How poetic! Hey, wait, was what's what's Odin's? So is Odin a D? Oh no, because if he's smiling uh, at death, right? No, that's that's not true. Uh, smiling at death is actually not a sign of being family D. Because ah. there's too many uh, occurrences of it not happening. Oh, really? Like, like Law's parents. Um, parents to think of. Hmm. Law's parents didn't That's die. Fair. No, th- there was. Um, and then what's his name? Parents did die, yeah. Bobo or something. I can't remember the guy that was afraid to die. Um, yeah, that was afraid to die. Oh, hey, how about no? Do flamingos not a D? No, man. Well, he didn't die. Doflamingo, Doflamingo's parents did, didn't they? Um, who, who's Bobo? Bobo. No, I, I'm trying to remember who it was. <laughs> I was just. All right, that's it. It's in because my head. The, there, was, there, there was a guy with a D name that also that there was because uh, I've looked into it before, and there's there's multiple people who died with the name D that didn't smile, didn't smile upon death. Interesting. So. Um, it took me a while to actually realize that was him because uh, so much was going on and then the whole to boil aspect which by the way when he when he got shot and then it was just like sploosh and I'm like oh what the hell and then everyone else screamed it that's when I, I like had to stand up close my door and shed like a couple of tears because I was like oh wow god damn you Oda and yet, it took me a while to even realize that was him smiling under the oil. Hmm. Pretty wild stuff. Oh, yeah, because it, it doesn't look like a smile there. Well, who knows? Is it, Where's his oh, head? Yeah. You don't know. It's yeah. being swirled around. Yes. Anyway. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I was thinking. It was like, is he really going to die here with a bullet? It's very you know. anticlimactic, I, and I completely understand where you're coming. Yeah. But, uh, uh yeah, a- anyways, moving on, we're, you know, showing the, uh, the ending here of Toki finding out, and, uh, is Momo crying here on the bottom, or is he just sleeping and doesn't know? No, those are tears. Sleeping and crying. In his, he's crying in his sleep. Mm-hmm. Okay. So do the kids know at this point? I don't know if they know he's dead, but they know he was sentenced to be executed. Yeah, and we still haven't seen uh, Momo's sister yet, have we? In the future? In the current time? In the current timeline. It was who was hanging out with Zoro. Oh, she's hanging out with Zoro? Okay. Yeah, that was oh. uh, Hiori. That's the one who gave him Enma. Right, okay. And, uh... Alright, yeah. Hey, um, I'm a little confused. What is she ripping up? Put and left her a letter. And that that's what all this narration is? Yeah, the, they're uh, reading the letter from him. And at the top part of... 19 when it's like if I should die then she's reading up the message so we don't know what he's telling her to do because Oda likes doing this to us (laughs) yeah yeah it it makes the story so much better because it's going to come up at a point where we're just like oh oh that makes sense but now it's just like what yeah right okay well, uh, yeah. So, do, I mean, do, do, are, are we finished basically? Or are you, is there anything left to say on yeah. this last page? 
Like you get on your do, hair. Do we? Do, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just uh, Toki. It's, it's uh, just trying not to cry. So maybe she's not the traitor. You know. I'm guessing so. I'm. I've just given it's... up on even trying to speculate <laughs> on that. Like it seems like she's the most likely of the people to do it. We just don't know why. Um, so yeah. Uh, 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 and do you think we're? Uh, do you think the flashback is officially done? The story hurdles toward the present day. That's what I'm thinking. I, I think we're going back, and I'm just like. We haven't seen the Straw Hats since November. This is why. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, actually, I haven't. I, I, that, I went on a huge break of watching One Piece right when they went to this uh, flashback. So it's been nuts for me, too. It's like, this is when I'm getting back into it. Yeah, there's just, yeah. It's been quite a long flashback, but a good one. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It, well, it was, it's, it's 13 pages as of now. And I guess from some of the what other people are saying, the other longest one was like Laws or something, and that was like six or seven chapters. Yeah, this was definitely much better than Laws backstory. Mm-hmm. Man, look at look at uh, yeah, I just love the way her face looks. Um, it everything is just a little yeah. There's just something we're missing here, isn't there? Like who who is this person that is uh, betraying everybody? Um, betraying them well also we need to know who Kamurasaki is because as it's set up now Kamurasaki is supposed to be Hiyori but Kamurasaki could also be that's what the Grand Line Review was talking about now that she has her scar on her leg if we do get to see like Kamurasaki's body or whatever we gotta look for like a a scar on her leg to see if that's to confirm if that's Toki or not. Okay. Hey, Wayne, could you do me or do me a favor? Um, but, explain this thing that you're talking about, like this theory that you had, uh, that you're talking about on Tekkens. Because I, I guess I'm maybe I'm confused, or it, maybe it'll be good to elaborate on it. But. I posted on Tekkens channel uh, when he uploaded the chapter the aspect of when you think about it. Um. The reason that Kaido drinks so much, the reason that he's such a sad drunk, and the reason that he's always trying to kill himself is because he has gotten to the point where he can't die, and he remembers a time when he could have, and how he's upset that he, that's taken away from him. And the fact that Odin's last, well, before his uh, him saying his name, he, his last words were, I am someone who's going to accompany you. Meaning, when you sit down to chill, you're going to think of it. Mm -hmm. And you're going to think about that amazing ending that he had, which is subsequently is now impacting Kaido's personality. He wants an amazing ending, which now looks to be the the greatest war the world has ever seen. Because he lost his chance to die fighting Odin. That's why he's such a, a weepy drunk. Because oh, he's thinking of Odin. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Um, okay. I got that. I'm trying to think of any... What else should we... Uh, I'm, okay, here's one thing I wanted to talk about real quick before we end. Um, so we got... So it's going to hurdle back to the present. Um, right now, everyone is like... Or sorry, all the all the warrior... All the, um, the Kazuki guys are all on the, the shore. Scabbard. The scabbard, sorry, I can't think percent. They're on the shore. They can't yep. get over it. You know, they they're waiting on. Where, where's where's the where's the infantry? You know, where, where's where's the straw hats? Where's everyone at? Right. Yeah. So, so just to catch up, um, Orochi has blown up all the bridges leading to Hokage Port, except Tokage Port. Sorry, Tokage Port, except for the one coming from the flower cap. All these different factions that are all over all the different portions of Wano now have to go through the flower capital to make it to a port to head there to Onigashima. Okay. Um, so, so Neko we- and Dinjiro have not been found, or Neko hasn't showed up yet. Dinjiro has not been found. Um, 
I'm personally wondering when the fuck Izo is going to show up. Never to begin with. Or he was a vassal to begin with. Yeah, he's somewhere in the One Piece world. Because I don't think Weevil's killed him yet. Um, uh, the Thousand Sunny is buried in a cave. Okay, so that's safe right now. Um, it's Yeah, they think they destroyed it, but it's safe or whatever. So, and... Um, where is Big yeah, Mom? Yeah, that's that we're going. We're ru- jumping right back into the bat. They're about to storm it. Um, yeah. Okay, this is my theory, and why everyone's oh, not there oh. is because Big Mom. Because I don't think they they really know what Big Mom is up to, right? They just know where Kaido is. See their face to see if they're smiling. Though. Anyway, they're, they're not. You, you can see the face of the dad facing up right there. Oh man, we're smiling before he actually passed away. <laughs> no, he's he's done. I, that I'm, joking, I'm joking. I'm <laughs> joking. I has a horrid, horrid, horrid backstory. Anyway, um, yeah, I think that um, Big Mom is going is definitely a big reason why everyone's not there. I don't know what she's going to do. Like, I she's going to literally destroy everything, but. It's she's literally a ticking time bomb, if I can be blunt about it. Mm-hmm. And then you also in the anime just showed that reminded us that all the big mob pirates are anchored right offshore. So we have all of them, even oh, Flappe. Okay, I'd actually argue that Flappe is one of the worst big mob pirates. <laughs> that can be its own discussion someday. Do you think Luffy could easily? kick Big Mom's ass as of right now after he knows his big, has, has his powers. After he well, he has the, new... the power that he's been working on in the prison. Right. Where he breaks the, the collar off with the hockey. Right. Yeah. She's... I... She smacked him way too easily. But remember when uh, Hero Girl was like, you have to defend me. And he's like, bring it on, Big Mom. And then he just gets manhandled. <laughs> I, I don't think that it's it's a 1v1. Okay. I, I do still buy... It's it's everyone versus Kaido. Okay. It, for, uh, in Law, Kid, and Luffy in particular. Because remember, Doflamingo was a tag team between Law and Luffy. Sure. And now you have three of them all there. Kid is arguably. What's up? I also think Luffy's a lot stronger now. But yeah, I I think it's gonna be a it's gonna be a massive battle. For sure, it's gonna be so much fun. I I'm arguably uh, Kid's my favorite of all the uh, uh, the worst generation. I and I'm just excited to see what he can do because we have no idea, and he's supposed to be more dangerous than Luffy in. Our, and from what I've seen is the best of the the worst generation that actually poses to be a rival to him in shenanigry and fighting. <laughs> sure. Okay. Hey, hey uh, let, let, yeah, let's start to wrap it up here. Okay, we can. Okay. All right. Uh, any last thoughts? I'm interested mm-hmm. to see who, what we even get when we come back from this flashback. Because... Like we said, we, we forgot everything that's gone on. We just went on a huge adventure. Mm-hmm. Hey, crap. Yeah. So we'll be coming back to them just sitting on the shore. <laughs> this is a nice wondering thing. where everybody is. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm still gonna see uh, Lo- Luffy throw a punch with his new powers. And also, um it, you, you guys watched the most recent episode of uh One Piece? I have not. Yeah. Well, I, you've read the manga, so I just uh, am wondering why they want a warship uh, from the Marines. Why well, Orochi needs one. And if he he's also wants Vegapunk, too. Well, yeah, he wants Vegapunk. I don't think he's going to get that. No, but we might. If we, what, if, what happens if we just see some old dude walking out? in the middle of the battle, and we have no idea who he is, 
until like two, two, three chapters later, and they're like, Dr. Vegapunk in the entire One Piece community loses their minds. Because I could see Oda doing that. <laughs> yeah. I could see Oda just randomly dropping some old dude in a panel or an old woman. We don't know who Vegapunk is. <laughs> Like, well, we know that he has uh, the, the, like, the, the wait, wait, hold on. He, he, we know that he has the cone shaped shaped head. That's all we know. We do. Yes. Uh, okay. Because uh, we saw the back of his head at on a pan on a panel. Or was it the hair? Because Oda has interesting hair design. <laughs> I don't know. Odin is the perfect example. Anyway, okay. Uh, haven't yeah. we actually like seen him just not with his head? I've never, we've like, never seen Vegapunk. I'm very confident. We're yeah, I'm like, I'm looking it up right now, and no, we're, we just see his long ass body, basically. Yeah, but you see his body, so you could see he's a male. You you never okay. see his face, but he's like standing over um, what's his name, Kuma. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna I gotta look that up too. But um, but like, yeah, for like, the sake of time, I got the image right here for you. Okay. If you can send it, uh, it'll be it'll be the it last uh, picture that we have on this. I think that's great for uh, today. Cool. Thank yeah. you guys. This is awesome. Sweet, sweet. We'll see you next week. How about that? Yep. Sounds good. Care warlords. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. Right. Take care.